What is going on guys? It's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has had a great weekend. In today's video guys, we're going to check out Hunter's Creek. Hunter's Creek is located in the south area of Orlando and it's bordered between Williamsburg, Kissimmee, and Meadowood. And it's also a very short drive to Disney and all the parks. We're going to check out three different homes starting from the low end and then go all the way to the higher end so you guys can have a variety of homes and see what they look like in these different price points. Hunter's Creek is adjacent to Gatorland and also The Loop, which is a popular outdoor shopping mall. Lastly, we're going to showcase a pizza shop here in Hunter's Creek. It's called NYPD Pizza. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Well, folks, we have made it to our first property in today's video, and this one's actually located in the Sky Lake South subdivision, and it's right off of John Young Parkway. So I want to give you guys a quick look at the street view. Most of these homes were built in between 1985 and 1990, so they are older style homes. Um, the good thing I like about older style homes is they do have character, um, unlike a lot of the newer um, homes nowadays so just depends on you know your style and what you like but the specs on this home is it has three bedrooms it has two full baths it has 1615 square feet of interior space has a monthly hoa of 21 dollars 50 it's sitting on a 0 0.15 acre lot and it is currently on the market guys for three hundred and eighty four thousand dollars so let's go ahead get in and take a quick look so um, it has been updated as well so it does have a newer roof and um, some newer uh, flooring and paint and all that stuff so it actually does look fairly good in here um, oh, hold on. another little squeaky door for the age of this home so anyways as we get in it's only 1600 square feet so make sure you keep that in mind um, you do have some lower ceilings right here. You do have popcorn ceilings, but overall the house is very, very clean. So we have the garage door just right there um, to the left-hand side. And then to the right-hand side, we'll find our first two bedrooms and first full bathroom. So let's go ahead and start the tour uh, just right here to the right-hand side and uh, see what we got here. I love these windows here. I always love uh, a bedroom with, with these windows. I don't know what what about it but i don't know i just really like it so uh let me know your opinion as well but um i love all the light that it gives and then there's a look at the closet there uh, like i said brand new flooring and interior paint brand new roof so it does have a lot of the major components oh and also the uh ac unit as well it does have a lot of the brand or the more expensive components of a home um have been upgraded uh and uh replace for the new owner so you don't have to think about that so um that's always a good thing upon uh finding a home so anyways here's a look at bedroom number two and i would say overall um this bedroom's pretty small i mean it's it's only 1615 square feet total in the home so you can't expect the bedrooms to be you know too big but uh anyways let's go ahead and make our way to the garage space and uh should be just a you know pretty standard size two car garage i want to give you guys a nice look now this is an older home so we will have the um, washer and dryer hookups typically in the garage which as you can see they're right there you got a newer water heater there as well and then like i said uh ac unit there is uh is, is new so um anyways let's go ahead and move forward so we'll have the living room space just right in front and then we'll have the dining room which is to the right hand side but we actually have the primary suite right here so i'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of this whole space living and then we have the dining room the kitchen i do like that it's in the rear of the house and then you also have vaulted ceilings here as well so the whole house is not you know low just in the beginning uh the front of the house the uh ceilings were a little bit lower but at least as you go in they get much higher so um Let's make our way to the third bedroom, which is right here, which is the primary suite. And as you can see, it also has high ceilings as well. And I love the window that it has here. I can't wait to show you guys the backyard. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, but here's a look at the closet. You just have one walk-in closet. 
And um, as we move forward, here's a look at the attached bath, which also does have uh, a door right there that will lead out to the backyard as well. Here's a look at the whole space here. Now it's very small. Um, you know, I'm just being honest with you, but uh, it's very small, but it's, you know, it's just the way they built these back in, you know, the, the 80s and 90s. But we have one sink and vanity there. So um, if you're somebody looking for a big grand, you know, bathroom, I probably, you know, this probably wouldn't work for you, but um, you're typically going to buy a house like this, uh, basically because of just the location. It's in a wonderful location. So anyways, here's a look at the... Uh, and dining room space really nice size dining room space you can get a nice size table in there and uh, then we have the kitchen uh, just right behind that but I do like this lanai space right here which I'm excited to showcase to you guys but you do have two sliding glass doors one right here just in front and then you also have the second one uh, just right here as well as you can see so you got a lot of um, ways to go in and out and then also the good thing is is you know they're glass so they let in you know a lot of light and uh, you know really brightens the space up but Anyways, let's get to the kitchen real quick. You got stainless steel appliances, as you can see. Um, this is an updated kitchen. Um, it looks new. I'm not exactly sure when it was put in, but at least it's upgraded. You have granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, um, white wood cabinets, which are nice. So uh, nothing you have to do immediately. So I think that will take a lot of stress off people. So I think that's a, uh, a real positive thing. So this is great. So once you step out here, this is completely covered. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and point the camera that way so you can see just how high uh, the ceiling area is there. And then you put some chairs out here and uh, relax. So um, these people obviously didn't do the screen. They actually did windows right here. So, you know, it's, uh, uh, you could open the windows if you want to, and then they did a sliding glass door. So you can either usually do windows or um, just screens. But um, obviously right now you have a, uh, you have windows so here's a look at the backyard and it's perfect for pets there's a look at the uh ac unit as well and it's fully fenced guys fully fenced backyard and uh check out this side as well a lot of green space out here and uh yeah so only thing i would do is uh just continue the fence on that side because obviously you see the neighbor's house right there but uh overall you know not much not much really to be done here so overall pretty solid house in my opinion let me know what you think down in the comments below and let's go ahead and get to the next property all right guys so we have made it to the second home here in beautiful hunters creek florida this one actually features four bedrooms it has two full baths it has 1,956 square feet of interior space. You have a monthly HOA of $95 a month. And uh, I wanna give you guys a quick look at the street view. It's a really nice street. And the subdivision we're actually in right now is Hunter's Creek Trail. And uh, like I said, a really nice street, nice and clean. It looks like people take really good care of their houses as well. Um, obviously, you're very close to grocery stores, dining, shopping, gas stations all the things you really need um, to be to be happy here. So anyways, um, this one actually was built in 1987. It does have a pool as well, guys. Beautiful pool and backyard space. Obviously, you can see the front yard is a pretty good size as well. And uh, it's got a newer roof. It's got new tile flooring and it has an updated kitchen as well. So I'm excited to get in and give you guys a quick tour of this property. It's sitting on a 0.24 acre lot and it is currently on the market for five hundred and forty five thousand dollars so i want to give you guys a good look at the uh front i love the little palm tree right here as well and then um as we go in it's completely covered right here as well as you can see so i think that's a great feature so let's go ahead and uh, take a quick tour oops accidentally locked myself out there we go Let's go ahead and get inside. We'll do that again. So we go ahead and close the door. And uh, as we get in, here's a look. You got nice high ceilings. Uh, as I said, tile flooring all throughout, brand new interior paint. Just right there to the right-hand side is, we, is the dining room space. 
And then just right behind this wall here, we'll find the kitchen space, which we'll get to here shortly. But we do have two bedrooms on the left side and then two bedrooms on the right. So we'll just go ahead and start on the left side of the home. And uh, we actually have bedroom number one just right here. So let's go ahead and show you guys uh, exactly what this uh, bedroom looks like. And uh, honestly, it's pretty small for the most part. Uh, like I said, it may be better served as an office space, maybe a study or something like that, just because it is pretty small. Um, but if you do need it for a bedroom, you know, it will work for that. But uh, in my opinion, I probably, you know, if I didn't have to use it for a bedroom, I would use it as a, an office. I think it'd be a good size for that. But we have the primary bedroom just right here as well. So I love the double doors that they have. And uh, it's very uh, spacious, which I'm sure you guys will agree. Um, but this is actually the entry to the primary bath. Uh, you got like a sliding, sliding door there. And uh, here's a look at the actual bedroom space. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and show you guys the actual size of this bedroom, which is very nice. And you have the sliding glass door and a window uh, where you can see the backyard and pool space. And you also can go in and out uh, those sliding glass uh, doors just right there as well. So let's go ahead and check out the closet, which is nice, really nice size walk-in closet. And um, I'm really, I didn't expect this at all. So, you know, really nice. And then you have uh, nice shelving as well. Uh, which is great and uh, yeah so it was a surprise to me as well so let's go ahead and go in the primary bath and see what we have so this is absolutely massive here guys like look at this thing you got a really nice size uh, walk-in shower which is great I'm just gonna walk in here since I'm here and show you guys everything look you got um, shower Shower heads all over the place, two over there, two on the other side. Got a little bench area right there to sit down. So really nice size walk-in shower. There is no tub because I'm sure whoever owned this house before was just uh, into the walk-in shower. So nothing wrong with that. Also, obviously personal preference, but there's a look at the double sinks just right there. We have the uh, granite countertops. And then I like this area here. So you have some cabinet space and then you have a little bit of counter space just right there for things. And then obviously we have the toilet just, just right there as well. So um, let's go ahead and make our way out of the primary bedroom. And I'll show you guys the living kitchen, living room, the kitchen space, and then the additional bedrooms as well. So here's a look at the living space uh, as well. Very nice size. And um, then we also have more sliding glass doors that will lead out to the backyard and pool space. And as we move forward, we'll find the kitchen. Very nice size kitchen. You have granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. You got the gray wood cabinets and uh, nice backsplash lights right there. And there's a look at the sink. And uh, yeah, so the refrigerator would actually go just right there. I don't know if this is being included, if the refrigerator is included in the sale. If you guys are interested in this home, I'll obviously get that question answered for you, but I'm not sure quite yet. But um, anyways, we have the door that leads out to the garage space. And it's just a typical two car garage. Looks like they, uh, sounds like maybe they redid the epoxy not too long ago because it's a little stronger smell. So that may be newer. So before we go outside, I want to say the best for last is the pool area. So make sure you stick around and watch the whole video because uh, I think you really like the uh, backyard and pool space. So this area obviously is a washer and dryer. You got the washer and dryer hookups just right there. I don't know why they didn't put like a little door or something right here, you know, but um, that can always be done later on. But that's just something I noticed that I wanted to point out to you. So anyways, we'll get into bedroom number three. And this is a bigger bedroom, but I'd say it's probably medium sized bedroom. So a very, uh, very efficient there. So we'll go into our next second full bath. Again, we have another walk-in shower, sink and vanity just right there. And then we end with the toilet. Do like that little window there. Give us a little natural light. And then we'll finish off with our fourth and final bedroom uh, just right here. And then we'll make our way 
to the backyard area. So here we go. So anyways, as we get to the backyard space, it is fully fenced and uh, you got a nice undercover space just right here. And uh, look how big this pool is. Very nice size pool. And um, like I said, plenty of green space as well. Fully fenced, so it's great for the dogs. Uh, anybody really that's looking for some green space, this property does check the boxes on that, plus a pool as well. Then you have an outdoor kitchen just right there. And uh, everything you see in this video comes with the house. So nothing's gonna be taken out if this is something that you find that you like. So anyway, just gonna go to this side and give you guys another quick look. And um, then we'll get to house number three. So anyways, that will be it for this video, guys. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the next property. Well guys, we just got to the third and final home here in today's video in Hunter's Creek. I have Mabel with me right now because the weather has changed. It has started raining and I don't wanna get my bald head wet and cold. So she's here to hold the umbrella while we do this third home tour. We're in a beautiful community here. It's actually, this is a luxury home. It's had a pretty big price reduction overall. It was originally listed for 1.189 million, is now on the market for $999,000. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around show you guys the community. It's been completely renovated as well. So enjoy the tour and let's go ahead and get started. Voila. So here's a look at this property. It's absolutely beautiful. I want to give you guys a good look at uh, the neighboring properties and the street view. Um, again, this is actually in a more of a luxury home community. It's had a pretty big price reduction overall. Um, it was originally listed for 1.189 million. And now guys, it is being offered for $999,000. So pretty good price reduction there, but the home is absolutely gorgeous. So I can't wait to show you guys this property. Nice driveway, you got three car garage, brand new roof, brand new AC system. Um, also kitchen has been completely updated. There's nothing you have to do, which is the, uh, the nice part. And uh, it features four bedrooms. It has four full, it has one half bath. It has 3,700 and 49 square feet of interior space has a monthly HOA of $108 a month and it's sitting on a 0.32 acre lot and also I want to mention too guys it does have a beautiful pool and no rear neighbors we'll go ahead and insert some drone shots uh, within this clip as well just to give you guys a good look at the location of this exact home so anyways guys built in 1999 and it is now being offered for $999,000. So let's get in and take a quick look at this property. All right, let's go ahead and close the door. All right, so upon entering, you notice it has really nice high ceilings, and then you got a beautiful chandelier just above the entry there. And then you also have two living spaces as well. This is the first one just right in front. And um, then as we go to my right hand side, you actually do have more of a office space. It's kind of like a bonus room really, but I think it'd be really good as an, as an office space. Again, you have really nice high ceilings, beautiful windows uh, to give you a lot of natural light. So I'm just gonna go to this corner and uh, give you guys a uh, full look at uh, the size of this room here. So um, anyways, as we look to the left-hand side, we do have the dining room space. It's a really, really nice spacious area. Again, beautiful ceilings. It's so nice and open in here, it feels. And uh, we'll just actually just go ahead and start the tour to the right-hand side of the house, which it is a split floor plan, so you will see the remaining bedrooms on the left hand side so we'll just go ahead and start here which will put us right into the primary suite but uh, here's a quick look at the half bathroom uh, just right there i do love the tile that they use really really well done there and then um, we have the primary suite just right here we have the double door entry 
and um, look how big this room is. It's absolutely massive. And uh, you have the door there that leads out to the pool and backyard space, which we'll get to here shortly. A um, couple windows all around, and then obviously really, um, we got crown molding up on the tops as well. And as we continue, we'll go right into the primary bath. You have like a little makeup, uh, I'd say makeup area vanity, I believe. That's what they call it. But um, I think that's nice because it's its own little designated space. And then we have the little closet right here. It's not too big at all, really. It's just really a standard size closet, in my opinion. And um, then we'll have the second closet, which is just right here. And um, it's a walk-in closet, as you can see. So you have much more space in this one uh, than you did in the first one, which is great. So. As we move forward, they did a very, very good job on the primary bath. I love the tile that they used here in the walk-in shower. You got two, you got double sinks. There's a sink and vanity number one, soaker tub right in the middle. And then look at all these windows. And again, you got the nice hot ceilings all throughout, um, perfect lighting. And then there's a sink number two. And then just right past this door here, we'll find three bathroom or bathroom what am i talking about we are the bathroom that's the toilet anyways as we move forward um that will do it for the primary bedroom and bathroom tour let's go ahead and go to the opposite side of the house and uh see the remaining living spaces again here's an, another look at the first living area i do love the fireplace there it is an electric fireplace and then they brought the uh the accent color all the way up to the top of the ceiling. I think it's really nice, nicely done. And um, we'll just go ahead and start on this side and we'll find the kitchen space where you have quartz countertops, wood cabinets, stainless steel appliances. There's a look at the refrigerator. You've got plenty of cabinet and counter space as you can see. You got your oven, cooktop, and then we have the microwave just right there. Then as I turn around, We'll find the dishwasher sink, breakfast nook area just right behind it. I love the glass that they have there. Um, just really made it nice and open and bright so that it's easy for light to get through. And then we have the second living area uh, just right here with additional, you know, big windows, uh, light fixtures and things like that. So really, uh, really, really well done. So anyways, let's go ahead and go this way this is a pretty big house so I'm, I'm not trying to go too fast or too slow but um, I want to show you guys as much as I can in detail in case uh, any of you guys have interest in this home so here's a look at the next full bath and then you also have a door just right here that will lead out to the backyard uh, as you can see so anyways we'll get into our next bedroom and again very, very nice size bedroom. And I'll give you a quick look at the closet, just a, you know, standard size closet, not anything too special uh, right there. So let's go ahead and continue our tour. And we'll just actually, since we're here, why not go outside and check out the pool space? Again, completely undercover here and uh, completely screened in as well. I love the, uh, I love what they did with the rock and then also the vegetation here in this pool. Very, very nice size pool as you can see. And then you also have additional green space in the back. So no rear neighbors, like I mentioned in the beginning, uh, which I think is a really good uh, feature for some people. And uh, then also additional green space right here. So very, uh, very well done and i think it's uh it would be very very beneficial for somebody so anyways that'll do it for the uh pool tour let's go ahead go back inside and check out the remaining bedrooms and bathrooms and then we also have the garage i got to show you guys as well it actually has central air in the garage i haven't seen that in a very long time so um i actually think that's a this is the first time i've seen a house on this channel with 
central air going into the garage. So obviously we have the uh, washer and dryer hookup area right here. And then we have some additional storage space. Just want to show you guys that real quick. And then we will go into the garage, three car garage. As you guys can see, they just uh, epoxy the floor uh, recently as well. So um, everything is done and nice. You got windows as well, which I think is great. And then um, another surprise too, guys, is it actually has a bathroom here. So I don't know if somebody, I don't know, you wanna live out here. I don't know, maybe it's converted into something. I don't know, but at least you have a full bath, which is a surprise to me. I didn't even know it came with that. And then again, you have the windows um, as well that give you some natural light. And then, like I said before, you have central air in the garage space that we're in right now. So um, not bad at all. You got some storage bases here. So yeah, you can kind of use this for whatever you need it for. And then, you know, it won't also get super hot uh, once the summertime months are here in Florida, which is really nice. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and conclude the tour. We only have two more bedrooms to see. And uh, that will be all for, for this home. But um, anyways, here's a look at this bedroom size and it is Jack and Jill. So these remaining two bedrooms actually share this full bath where you have the double sinks, again with the quartz countertops. And then we have the full, uh, well, we have the toilet and then we also have the walk-in shower just right there. So. Here is a look at the final bedroom. And again, guys, all these bedrooms are very spacious, so you don't have to worry about size being an issue. And then I wanna show you guys the closet just before we end the video. So that'll be it for this tour, guys. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Let's go ahead and get some pizza. Well, guys, we have just got to the pizza shop here at Hunters Creek. It's called NYPD Authentic New York Style Pizza, and it had incredible reviews on Google. It had 4.5 stars on Google, plus over a thousand reviews, so it got my attention. And we haven't had pizza in over, how long has it been since we had pizza? Oh my God, like three, four months. Yeah, I'm, I'm embarrassed to even say that because we love pizza, but um, Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and check this place out. We're really excited because it has great reviews again. And we read the website as well, and they use the best ingredients that are actually sourced locally uh, from local produce providers. So I thought that was a cool uh, thing to uh, add to this video. So let's go ahead, get inside, and check this place out. This pizza place is located at Village Park, a cozy spot with a bunch of cool restaurants and shops here at Hunter's Creek walked in and received a warm welcome from the super friendly staff. They took us through the menu, which is loaded with goodies. They've got it all from great appetizers, garlic knots are a hit, fresh salads, calzones and specialty rolls, to pasta and a range of New York style pizzas. We went big and ordered a massive 18 inch beast, half Manhattan meat lovers, half pepperoni, plus a large drink. This place has a New York vibe and you can see all of the pizza making action from most of the tables in the restaurant. While we sipped and enjoyed our drink, we thought we'd have to wait a bit, but bam, in like eight to 10 minutes, this huge pizza was right in front of us, fresh out of the oven. We dove right in, hungry as heck, the Manhattan meat lovers had this great combo of pepperoni, meatballs, smoked bacon, and mozzarella, while the other half was just pepperoni. They used fresh ingredients, meaty goodness, cheese, amazing sauce, thin crust. It was a flavor explosion. We are definitely coming back next week. Oh, and Caleb loves cheese more than he loves me. Made a total mess. Overall, top-notch experience, NYPD Pizza gets a solid five stars. Great staff, excellent service, and a bonus, we got a free pizza thanks to their special that day. Definitely a must try if you're in Orlando. 
we left with happy bellies and big smiles. Well guys, that will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are looking to buy or sell here in Central Florida and or Tampa Bay, feel free to send me an email. My email will be down in the description below. That will be all and we'll see you guys in the next video.